Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Are we happy to be in the presence of God this evening? Shall we rise as we shout hallelujah? Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are happy to be in the presence of God, can we, can we begin to wave your hand to the King of Glory? Let's begin to appreciate him. Let's begin to bless his holy name. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for the opportunity given unto us to count our word among the living soul, to come to this presence, to come there this evening, to come and worship him. Thank you for that privilege. Thank you for that grace. Let's begin to appreciate him. Let's bless his holy name. Let's say, God, you are good. God, you are wonderful. You are mighty. You are good to me. You are good to my family. You are good to everybody around me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. God, you are wonderful. I appreciate your goodness. I celebrate your presence in my life. Thank you for protection. Thank you for guiding. Thank you for being upon me. Thank you for guiding my family. Thank you for preserving our life. Thank you for preventing us against any evil, against any attack, against any challenge. Thank you for your presence, O Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. We worship you, Lord. You are mighty. You are wonderful. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to use the blood of Jesus to sanctify ourselves this evening. That anything that wants to prevent me, prevent my prayer from, to answer this evening, Father, sanctify me and cast me with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to use the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I sanctify my soul and my spirit. I purify myself, O Lord. Father, sanctify me this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. I sanctify all this environment, O Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Sanctify the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let's say, God, energize me to pray and pray through this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, release grace upon me to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, to pray and pray right in the mighty name of Jesus. To pray the right prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. This evening in the mighty name of Jesus, be glorified, O Lord. Father, enable me, O Lord. Empower me, O Lord. Grace to pray and pray through in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, O Lord. Father, we worship you for answer our prayer. For in Jesus' name we pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you, Lord. We appreciate your goodness. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for this moment, O Lord. Thank you for being here with us, O Lord. Thank you for here to answer our prayer. Be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, for the verse of your servant that you want to use, O Lord, release your grace upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace to deliver the word at the right level in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name, O Lord. Every one that come here today, O Lord, Father, our prayer, our request shall be granted in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go ahead and worship God. Hallelujah. Let's thank Him for yet another opportunity that He has given unto Hallelujah. us again to be in His presence tonight. Hallelujah. Father, Hallelujah. we give a praise. Hallelujah. We worship you. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Hallelujah. The righteous runs into it and is safe. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to call on your name we worship you Lord
gets at me I'm on my enemy You're gonna rub my face, love Hallelujah And bless you, Lord And so you, Lord You believe that me I'm on my enemy You're gonna, you're gonna rub me
Especially into the presence of God this evening. And I wish to announce to you that this is a special Wednesday service. Why is it special? Today is June 24, the last Wednesday in the month of June. Another Wednesday will be on the other side of the year 2020. Invariably, the year has already come to the middle of it. <laughs> so, we are going to give God a special praise. We are going to give him a special glory. And you as a person, I want you to be fully conscious of this truth. The first half of this year, how has it been with you? If everybody should be asked, you know it has not been pleasant. The pandemic is you. Everybody thought it would be a temporary matter, but it has continued and continued and continued. But despite it all, God has been so good unto us. And we are going to take a posture that we, you know will please 
your maker. If you feel like sitting down with please God, mm -hmm. if you want to roll on the ground, you can roll on the ground. If you want to stand up, lift up your hands onto him, you can do it. But I have brought you to your awareness that the year 2020 had come to the middle. And we have the responsibility to return our glory unto our maker. So I want you to begin to say something pleasant unto God because of who he is and what he has done in your life during this first half of the year 2020. Oh, yeah, we begin to worship him. Begin to say something pleasant unto him. Is the sustainer of my life. Is the keeper of your soul. Is your preserver. Is your sustainer. He is your source. He is your support. He is your helper. Lift up your voice unto him. Choose a song to celebrate it. Give him all the glory. God, I thank you for every member of my family. Thank you for my life. Thank you for preserving me. Thank you for preserving every member of Eshada Baptist Church. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Both home and abroad, thank you because you are good. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are wonderful. You deserve to be glorified. You deserve to be exalted. You deserve to be magnified. Lord, I magnify you. Lord, I exalt you. Lord, I honor you. The of days as so as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. It's just a day. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Hear what the Bible says in Psalm 19. It said, the heavens declare the glory of God. The Bible is referring to the celestial bodies. Not exactly. The Bible is referring to all the inanimate things God has created that we can see in the sky, in the universe, that they are not human beings. And what they do is they declare the glory of God. We, you may not be able to uh, understand their language, but uh, in the spirit, the Bible is telling us that they are declaring what? Even the Bible says, and the farmer shows his handiwork. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, NIV says, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Even in verse 2, it says, day unto day utters speech. He said, night after night, they display knowledge. Beans that are not living, living beings, 
they are worshiping God actively. I want you to sing I want you to do it. Let us join the company, the large choir, the universal choir that is giving glory to God. Say, Lord, I give you glory this evening. Come and rise up and say, Lord, I give you glory this evening. I give you praise. I give you honor. Thank you for being actively at work in my life. Thank you for carrying me on the wings of grace. Even when I fell ill, when I fell ill, you raised me. When I didn't have money, you supplied. Lord, when I had challenges, you granted me victory. Yes, there have been rumors of a pandemic all about. Lord, you have been preserving. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Ancient of days, I saw you. I saw you. the blood of Jesus over our lives as we are approaching the holy of holies we need the blood to grant us access into the presence of God. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over my life this I morning. want to experience you today. I want to have a personal encounter with you, Lord. Let the blood cleanse me and make me fit in your sight. Let my life be acceptable in your sight, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I plead the blood Lord, the blood Lord of, of Jesus. Jesus, I bleed the blood, the blood of Jesus, oh, yes. I bleed the blood, the blood of Jesus, I bleed To continue to plead the blood of Jesus over your spirit. Everything that is in my life that is contrary to my way being, I plead the blood of Jesus to flush it away. The blood of Jesus flush away from my life every contamination, every pollution, every infection that is contrary to my way being. The blood of Jesus flush away by the blood of Jesus. I am in the presence of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, I have brought my own empty cup unto you. Feel me and feel me to the overflow tonight. Feel me and feel me to the overflow tonight. In the name of Jesus. I lift up my cup. I lift up my cup. Lord, Lord feed me to the overflow this evening. In the name of Jesus. Feed me to the overflow this evening. Be my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heavens, feed me till I want no more.
Feel my call, feel it all, and make me whole. Feel my cup, Lord. Sing it one more time. Feel my cup, Lord. I need it all, Lord. Come and quench this dust in my soul. In the book of Jeremiah 33, verse 3, the God said to Jeremiah, said, Call unto me, I will answer you. Jeremiah, look at the logbooks. I get only a cake with me. It will down, and I will show you great and mighty things you have never seen. Once if you want me, I tell you, Latin will tell you. I want to give you the opportunity to talk to the Lord personally. Move on for your life and Latin by Lord on sorrow for you. Already in the presence of God this evening. Ewa, ne wa ju Lord on nero le yi. And if the the month of June is rolling to its end. Gradually. I want you to lift up your hands and begin to talk to your maker. Talk to your sustainer. Talk to him. Talk to him now. Talk to him now. What is your longing? What are you seeking him for? I want you to talk to him. Are you seeking him for? I want you to talk to him. Jesus said, ask, it shall be given to you. He said, ask, it shall be given to you. Are you asking? Don't let this hour go away. Without you connecting to the throne of Christ. Come and ask him, Lord, this is, my, this is my longing, Lord. Lord, I need your visitation. In this meeting this evening, I need your visitation. I need a turn around experience. I need a turn point experience. I need a lifting experience. Lord, encounter me in a new dimension. Do something new in my life tonight. Do something new in my life tonight. Do something new in my life tonight. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new came my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord, do something new came my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord, sing it for the death of your heart. Do something new. Do something new in my life. life. Something new in my life. life. Something new in my life. life. Oh Lord, do something, do something new in my life. life. Something new in my life. life. Our Father, we return all the glory unto you because you are our keeper, you are our preserver, you are the one who watch over our lives, you, you keep us away from evil, from destruction. Thank you for the year 2020 and the month of June that is rolling away. Today is the last Wednesday in the month of June. Another one will be in the month of July. Oh God, we return all glory to you. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we plead that you have mercy on us. We, we, we have come unto you, and you said in your, in your word that is anyone thirsty? Is anyone hungry? We should come. We should get free food, free water. Baba, I pray tonight that everyone under my voice, everyone watching us, we encounter your grace in an unusual dimension in the name of Jesus. Amen. This evening, you will experience a change of story. Amen. This evening, you will experience a change of level. Amen. You, exp you will experience a turning point 
experience in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord himself will put his hand into your situation. Amen. And we turn things around for your good in the name of Jesus. Amen. After this meeting, your life will be drenched in the shower of this of this grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Divine help will locate your life. Amen. Divine favor will become your garment. Amen. Blessed be the name, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, I want to welcome you into the presence of God this evening. The Bible says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Because you have laid any and every other thing aside to seek the face of God tonight you will not go away empty handed the Lord himself will touch you anew you will have a revival experience in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah uh, we, as we began the month of June we shared with us that the focus for this month is uh, having impact, enduring impact. Maximum impact. Uh -huh. And uh, the Bible passage we have been looking at is uh, Isaiah chapter 60. Verses 1 to 3. We are going to read it again. Uh, then we we'll do little exposition. Then we go to pray. Isaiah uh, chapter 60. Uh, let me read from New KJV here. The Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Verse 3. The Gentiles shall come, shall come to your light, the, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we started to look at this subject. Only I think only one Sunday we were able to spend. Arise and shine part one. By the grace of God, next Sunday we'll be looking at Arise and Shine Part 2. But for this midweek service, we want to wait upon God in prayers. Because I have found that you will need uh, energy that is beyond human level for you to actually arise you will remember that uh, when I started talking about Aras and Shah, I said the first thing the Holy Spirit is, is, was shown to us has to do with your perception. Your perception. Your perception. If your perception is poor, you can never shine. Now, um, let me go to Matthew chapter 6 verses 20 to 22 to 23. Jesus raised a matter there that is that has connection to this Isaiah chapter 60. Verses 22 and 23. Now, Jesus said, the lamp of the body is a high. If therefore your high is good, your whole body will be full of light. Verse 23. But if your high is bad, hmm. your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that 
darkness. This passage is a very difficult one for uh, Bible expositors to handle. And because I want us to really, really pray, I will not go deeper on it. Maybe if the Holy Spirit permits, on Sunday, I will go deeper on it. In the course of his seminar, uh, among the disciples. This statement of Jesus came out. And when you look at it, these two verses, they don't really have strong relationship with what we have before and what we have after. This statement looks hanging. And people have been wondering what is this all about? Give me verse 2. Let's go back to verse 22. Verse 22. He said, The lamp of the body is there. You will recall that in Isaiah 60, we are talking about arise and shine. And as Jesus is saying here that the lamp of the body, so the body has a lamp. And if you are going to arise and shine at all, you have to engage this lamp. And this lamp of the body said is the high. Well, let me tell you, it is not physical high Jesus is referring to. Now, this high, because of time, let me go there straight. This high refers to your inner man. It refers to your soul. your When I mention the issue of perception, you what you used to perceive things are uh, what are uh, inside, deep inside, is beyond the eyes, the ears, your five senses. Your five senses are only the funnel or the channels through which you collect information from the environment. But what you use to perceive them, every information you bring in, is your soul, your high. And this is your high, your inner inner being, your inner high. This is your high has the ability to shine light. But if the soul of a man loses the ability to shine light, that person we have poor perception in life. And that is what Jesus is referring to. That if the 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 is if therefore your high is good, your whole body will be what? Oh, people of God, you don't see. He said, the lamp of the body is the high. If therefore your high is good, if this thing you have inside of you is heavy. It is cold. He said, now say your whole body will be what? Will be full of flesh. You will be able to carry out good and effective perception every time. Your life will become uh, enlightened, and in fact, your life will be producing beautiful colors. Because your eye is good inside. And you are having correct, positive perception. But one thing I have observed in life is several people don't have good eye. And that is why we life is full of troubles. Sometimes things that are bad to some people, they will say it is what? Because the high in them has become darkness. The story we read 
last time that it, book of uh, uh, numbers when they were the uh, 12 spies were sent do you know that 10 out of 12 had bad heart why only two had good heart i don't know know even here in this church how many of us have good heart is a very serious matter and that is why it's a subject of prayer if you want to move forward you want to have an impact Maximum impact, your your high must be good. And that is why we want to pray this evening. That Lord Himself will put His hand into our inner life. To bring about a deep inner transformation. To bring, to bring healing to our hearts. Anything that is causing darkness in our hearts to, to, tonight shall be terminated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let me show you something before we go to pray. Uh, I, I want us to have time to pray, otherwise we'll continue in the exposition. In the Genesis chapter 41, verse 38. Now, Genesis 41, verse 38. Let me just show you the story. Now, <coughs> Joseph was kept in dungeon and the king of uh, Egypt, Pharaoh, had two terrible dreams that he couldn't get anybody to do what? To interpret. And Joseph was brought in. And after Joseph had interpreted the dream, and Joseph also gave the solution to the problem on ground, uh, and Joseph said, look for somebody who is a wise man to manage these things. The Pharaoh said in Genesis 41 38, and Pharaoh said to his servant, Can we find can we find such a one as this? A man in whom is what? Is the spirit of God. Now, what Pharaoh was referring to is, can we find a man whose eye is so good like this? <laughs> a man whose inner life is it up. A man whose inner life is well lit. A man in whose inner life there is no darkness there. No confusion. He had accurate, perfect perception. Among all the wise men in Egypt, no one was qualified. Except Jew. Joseph. Joseph Again in the book of uh, Daniel, uh, you remember that Daniel, there were troubles in Daniel, in, in, in the book of uh, in the land of Babylon then, that nobody could interpret the dream of um, King Nebuchadnezzar. And even after Nebuchadnezzar, there are several other kings that they had problem, and it was this one man, Daniel, they will be calling upon. One day, Queen Mother said about Daniel, said, this man, Daniel, during the days of your grandfather, Nebuchadnezzar, light was found in him. Light was found in him. This man had the ability to perceive things very accurately. This is what God wants to make of my life and of your life. Wherever you go, in your own place of work, in your family, even in your neighborhood, in your business, you will have 
accurate perception. That every step you take will be in the right direction. And we take you unto the success that God had wired for you. And that is why we are going to pray this evening very aggressively. Now, oh God, I want you to transform my inner life. Every darkness in me. Every cloudiness in me. Every cloud inside of my inner being. Lord, arise, let your fire wipe it out. Shall we rise up on our feet now? I want us to pray this prayer very, very aggressively. Pray it personally. Pray it passionately. Oh Lord Jesus, I come unto you tonight. I open up my inner life unto you. God, every cloudiness, every darkness, Every confusion, every depression. Oh God, in my inner life that is weakening my life, let it catch fire now. 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 Lord, release your fire into my inner life. Release your fire into my inner life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You cloudiness, you darkness in my life. I command you to disappear now. I command you to disappear now. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of confusion. You spirit of doubt. You spirit of fear. You spirit of weakness. You spirit of depression. I command you now. Pass your Lord and go away. In the name of Jesus. Pass your Lord and go away. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Makata, ye kete kepo makata kapo, makata kapo ye kete, rakata kapo ye kete, rakata kapo ye kete kepo makata. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father said, "Can we find anybody like this who in, in whom there is the spirit of God?" Father, we need to learn to know the spirit of God. We are the the worst men of Egypt. Darkness has taken over, has taken oh. over their inner life. When they heard about the dreams, they were just looking. They couldn't decipher. They couldn't perceive anything. Also in Babylon, when came uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, called the astrologers, the wise men, and the king told them, tell me the dream I had. In Babylon, it was you. Never see a bad boy. I want to go. I want more. No one saw it. And interpret the dream for me. Yes, it's true. I know for me. The astrologer said, "Ah, okay, dream forever." I want to. I want to. I want to. It has never been asked. Ah, God, no one has ever been has ever been asked about this kind of a thing. Oti sele ni no raba ban la yiri le kwe la ban ka yi. Tell us the dream you have. Oba yi ni ke sota la te la. When you tell us, I'll trust us. Ni ba te ba sofu wa ine mo pa atu. The king said. You are you are sick. Because if the dream I'm, you are talking about, I've forgotten it. I, I don't I don't I, I don't care whether anybody has asked you before or not. What I'm I'm saying saying is, you must reproduce my dream. If you if you if you slept beside somebody who had a dream, can you sense the dream the person say, had. Elero, elero, the king said, I will kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but when they brought in Daniel, <laughs> Daniel said, okay, give me one day. Daniel, tomorrow, tomorrow I am coming back. Hey, Daniel knew the source of everything. Daniel and Daniel prayed with his brothers and he came back to the king to, the other day, the following day, and he narrated the, the dream and he gave the king the interpretation. Oh, the king lied flat 
Lenya Adura Daniel is so allowed by the two men. If you pass it to Balen, what do you Daniel? This is the kind of thing God wants me to be and you to be. Orunka, you need a lot of care. Jack, God wants you to be a spirit. In any angle, in anything you are doing, Allah of a gem, it was to be extraordinary. Come on, lift up your hands on to the Lord God and say, God, I hope up my inner life on to you. Let your spirit flow like a magic river in the name of Jesus. Let me receive illumination. Let me receive divine revelation. Let me receive ability to shine. Ah, Jesus said the lamp of the body is the high if your high is good your whole body will be full of light oh Lord Jesus let your light shine into my inner being let me receive total repair total overhauling in my heart in my inner being let my inner high be enlightened in the name of Jesus Oh, revive me in my inner man, oh Lord. Revive my inner my oh God. Revive my inner high, oh God. Revive my soul, oh God. Revive me, oh God. Release your fire inside me. In the name of Jesus. Release your fire inside of me. 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 I want to have a ability to perceive perfectly ability for effective perception in every situation in every situation in all circumstances oh God let my inner be let my candle be enlightened oh God in the name of Jesus let my candle be enlightened oh God let my candle be enlightened oh God let my candle be enlightened oh God let my I can't do be enlightened. Oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Ah, brethren, the Bible says, Jesus said, Yes, we pray. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. Verse 23 says something very dangerous. It's not. Only super. If your eye is bad, be a Jew, eh? Or bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. But go out and you can focus on. This one answer. If therefore the light that is in you, what you supposed to be giving you light, when it's now become darkness, say, how great is that darkness? Yes, we are not being told by a couple of funny. Malay, but we are more focused. That the ball, look, we are so How many of us are living in darkness? You have to be sincere with yourself. And no Latin. That that the life you are living, you are not really satisfied with it. The business you are pursuing, the business is not, is not making sense at all. Your spiritual life is zero. Things are not really, really working around you. You are walking in darkness. You are just struggling. You are not a lazy man. But you are not flourishing. You wake up very early. But And you sleep late in the night. As in But the outcome of your labor is does not commensurate to the, the quantity of your labor. I buy your receipt. Wala ye koti e wani se de lu. Wala ten se. You don't know what to do. Yes, one month ago, she. You are in darkness. So. Me no koko kule wa. I want you to rise up again. Move back at the day and lift up your hand unto the heavens. Be a one in your lua and say, Oh God. Be a lua. Repair my heart. To oju mi she. Repair my candle. To fitila mi she. Baba, repair my candle, Lord. To fitila mi she lua. Let there be transformation. Jackie, are you part? In my heart, in the name of Jesus, your marriage is not really, really sweet. Things are very, very bad around hey, you. And you don't know the way to go about it. Hey, it's a sign that you are in darkness. Oh, dear, me, you don't know the way out of this. Hey, one one Pray for yourself hey, now. Do for God, God enlighten me. Oh, Lord, me. Let me pierce my eyes. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God enlighten me. Oh, Lord. Send a mighty healing to my heart. Heal my candle, Lord. 
to fit la me se Oluwa wo fit la oju re me mi so Oluwa ye me mi That may not the right direction to follow Ile ba mo na to ye lati to That may not the way to go Ile ba mo na to ye In the name of Jesus Ni oruko Jesus In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen The Holy Spirit is with us people of God Emi ma wa pelu wa eyin o re yan Olorun They showed me a, a, a light now Wo fi mole kan han In the book of Matthew chapter 25 Ninu we Matthew orike dogbon Jesus told us many parables in Matthew chapter 25 Jesus so oniru ru The first parable is a parable of the 10 virgins Owe akoko ni owe awon undi ameyiwa Why five were wise Marogbe five are foolish Maroje asiwere Uh why After they, when they got to the place of the wedding, and all of them slept off, and suddenly they heard the noise, the trumpet, hey, come out, the bridegroom has come. All of them stood up. And they carried the alarm. As if they will go to meet the bridegroom. Big, but one law bow for your work one day. The five foolish ones they discovered that they are they are oil as what? Super one day I want to go marry you or roll out it on the noon. They tended their lamp, but the lamp could not come up. Not it on the water. Fifty la was super fifty la was late. They could not come up. At super one, wow. Ah, and they were virgins. Once the wound dia, somebody can be holy and still be stupid. Eh, yeah, leja, eh, ni mi mo kosi jau mugo. Can be holy and still be living in darkness. Eh, yeah, leja, eh, ni mi mo kosi tumo benu koko. Yes, somebody can be carrying Bible, reading Bible and still darkness is still ruling. Eh, yeah, le mo baby belly kio koko kosi tumo jaga balori aye. These five virgins, they find themselves suddenly in darkness. Awo wound dia maru yi wo bara wo ni no koko. And they begin to beg. The other five. Oh, one bear, one man, one yoku. No, 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 no. Selfishness, selfishness is allowed here now. When the bio, you must have the kind of wah wah wah. Hello, Raf. Go and go and look for people who are selling. Buy for your. Go and buy for your. Say. And you know, Raf, for your. Say. And you know, Raf, for your. Brethren, as you are. Connect it to me tonight. And you are going to pray selfish prayer. You are going to pray, Oh Lord, let fresh oil be supplied unto my life. Give me fresh oil, Oh God. That my lamp will not go dark. That my lamp will not go dead. Ki wa si tila mi mo se ku so play me with fresh oil Oluwa fun mi ni ifa mi oro oro titu so play me with fresh fresh oil fun mi ni oro oro titu in the name of Jesus ni oruko Jesus so play my life with fresh oil Oluwa fun mi ni oro oro titu so play my life with fresh oil fun mi ni oro oro titu give me oil in my lamp keep me bonny Give me all in my life. I pray. Give me all in my life. Give me all in my life. Give me all in my life. I want to sing that song very passionately. 
again and continue to talk to the Lord. Lord, Lord let your, your heart flow, heart flow heart into my heart, O oh God. Let your heart, heart, heart flow into my, into my lamp, O oh God. Let your heart fire keep burning in my life. I refuse to dwell in darkness. I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to be discouraged. Father, I receive fresh oil tonight. 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 Don't oh, let your heart flow into my life. In the name of Jesus. Give me fresh oil, O oh God. Give me new oil, O oh God. Give me new oil, O oh God. Give me new oil, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Give me new oil, O oh God. Give me new oil, O oh God. Give me new oil, O oh God. Give me new oil, O God. Give me new oil, O God. Give me new oil, O God. Give me new oil, let fresh oil flow into my lamp in the name of Jesus. Let fresh oil flow into my life, oh God. That my lamp may keep burning. That my lamp may keep burning. Keep burning. Keep burning. Keep burning. Keep burning. In the day and in the night. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, that darkness may not prevail over me. That darkness may not conquer me. That darkness may not, may not prevail against my life. That I may make progress. That I may perceive accurately. That I may have ability to effectively perceive oh God the reality you are for me in the name of Jesus <coughs> in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen in Jesus mighty name amen I declare over your life I bring to an end that season of drought in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive fresh oil. Amen. Receive fresh unction. Amen. I pray for your lamp that your lamp will catch fire afresh in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every depression, every discouragement, every doubt, every fear, that is ruling over you, not allowing your lamp to shine, today, I banish it out by the fire of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you leave this place tonight, the fire of the Lord will keep burning your life. Amen. The light of God will keep shining around you. Amen. And people will see the light. Amen. It was said of Daniel that the spirit of excellence, one version says, illumination was found with Daniel. Mm. Ah, I pray for everyone under my voice. Jesus. The power, the spirit of Amen. illumination. Amen. The ability for effective perception. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go and flourish. Amen. You'll be looking for answers. Amen. Concerning one particular area of your life. Tonight, because of the light you are receiving, answer is coming your way. Amen. Answer is coming your way. Amen. By the time you return, you return with testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As the month of June is rolling away, all your troubles will roll away. Amen. That pain is rolling away. Amen. Disappointment, delay, stagnation is rolling away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we are looking forward to crossing to the other side in the year 2020, that year, the grace of God will carry you there. Amen. That uh, the remaining half shall be glorious for you. Amen. Shall be fruitful for you. Amen. Shall be effective for you. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. Blessed be the name, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to congratulate you because. We have our time to wait upon the Lord. The Bible says, Though that wait upon the Lord shall have their strength renewed, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run, they shall not be weak, they shall walk, they shall not be tired. And as you have waited upon God, this strength will carry you far. The grace you have received shall carry you far. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, brethren, I wish to let you know like I sent on our WhatsApp platforms, that by the grace of God, all things be equal, 
uh, Eshada Baptist Church, we open for public worship uh, first Sunday in the month of July. We, we are working very thoroughly to ensure that uh, the resumption of the church will be smooth and will be without problem. So we want you to continue to pray with us. As the church we resume is going to be uh, glorious for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this season of pandemic, as we are uh, moving into the second half of the year, we are going to have good news in the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of the Lord will wipe it off Amen. the surface of the earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. We've been hearing rumors that they have found some drugs uh, for heat and all of that. You just relax. God is working and very, very soon we shall see the end of this pandemic in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, all right. You are, if you have offering, please, let's uh, put it in the envelope and keep it for uh, Sunday. Okay. We are coming to church on Sunday. That will be first Sunday in the month of um, July. Okay. First Sunday in the month of July. Not this coming Sunday. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, all right. Shall we rise up as we close? Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you so much because of your grace that you have showered upon us. Thank you for you have moved our spirit to pray within this short time. And we know that you have begun to answer our prayers. I pray, therefore, for every one of us, that your light will keep shining in our inner life. Amen. And no one will walk in darkness anymore in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this week, uh, our brethren will get married in the lorry. We pray that you will breathe upon the wedding. Amen. Papa, we pray that that wedding in the lorry shall be a glorious success. Amen. You perfect everything concerning the lives of your children. Amen. All of us who will travel, pray that you grant us journey mercy. Amen. At the end of everything, O oh Lord, you will take all glory. Amen. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, once again we pray for our land, Nigeria, that God arise, let your peace prevail. Amen. Let this pandemic be wiped off. Amen. God, this um, uh, religious activity whereby they are killing people, the banditry, the villainous uh, men, all the activity, Father, in your mercy, let it be quenched. Amen. Frustrate their plans, O God. Amen. Destroy their agenda. Amen. Let us know peace in Nigeria. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for all our brethren in Germany, in the US, in South Africa, in India, in every part of the world. We are there listening, watching us. We pray, O oh God, that your peace will locate them. Amen. Your peace will preserve them. Amen. Pray for all of you over there that it shall be well with you. Amen. The Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. Amen. And he will deliver you from all evils. Amen. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. As we resume, next month, O oh God, first Sunday in July, let your power resume with us. Amen. Let your grace resume with us. Amen. Let there be explosions of your of your glory. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we share the grace in fellowship with the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the love Amen. of God, and the sweet fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.